On today's adventure, we're going inside Dollywood Theme Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee to watch Dolly Parton kick off the 2024 season with their new I Will Always Love You Music Festival. You'll be able to see highlights of Dolly and the president of Dollywood talk about what's coming soon to Dollywood and get a preview of the three brand new shows at Dollywood right now during the festival. You'll also be able to check out some of the food at the Front Porch Cafe with us and go for a walk around the park to see how crowded it is as we check out some areas that are currently closed down along with some new food and retail locations that just opened up and we'll do our best to get you a great virtual seat along the parade route as Dolly Parton works her way through Dollywood. So let's head inside the park to check out all of this and much more. One of the first things you notice when you come in the park is it's a lot thinner in the entrance area as they're just doing a QR scan system. A lot of people are getting in a lot more efficiently from what we can see. It's about 10.15, we're working our way up to the Celebrity Theater. So let's head inside the Celebrity Theater and give you a couple highlights of Dolly opening the park. Please welcome to the stage from Trio again at the Show Street Palace Theater, three times a lady. Ladies and gentlemen, Dollywood's dreamer in chief, the Smoky Mountain storyteller, Miss Dolly! things I've ever done was going in business with the Hershon family and starting up Dollywood. It's going to be a busy year for Dollywood, no doubt about that. we got a whole lot of things to tell you about just a little bit later on. So look and see what we got planned and I'll be right back to tell you more about it. As the video played at the media event in the theater, it highlighted all things Dollywood, including all of the festivals occurring this year as well as the I Will Always Love You Festival going on right now. Okay, we're back. Does that not look awesome? This is Eugene Norton. He's the president of Dollywood. He's the one here. That's my pink spot. I'm getting over there. We have our own marks. We got so many great things going, so why don't you tell the folks about it? We had such a successful launch celebrating the 50th anniversary of I Will Always Love You, we turned it into a brand new music festival to open this year. I'm glad you kept that around. And, and more importantly, everyone loves the shows that you do, so we're adding three new shows to the start of this year. Well, you know what? We heard some of the first new show earlier with the Three Times a Lady. They're going to be doing uh, several of our trios. As I mentioned, celebrating those great trio albums in a show that we call Trio Again. Yep, and that show is going to be in the Show Street Palace Theater. We're also going to be doing a Broadway-style production in this very theater, showcasing my music and my life. And we call that From the Heart. The last show, I think, might be my favorite show. We have the best chance for everyone to get a chance to sing along with some of your most favorite love songs. That's that at Rivertown, right? That's you know, for years I've been trying to get Jack Hershon to sing, and then one time he did, and 
never again, Jim. <laughs> never again. So you better really step yeah. up. Of course, that's going to be called the Dolly Sing Along Show. Yeah, everybody's going to get to sing, right? Now, we think you know the song, but if not, just follow the bounce of butterfly. Two girls down there. Yourself now. <laughs> you know, we have, a, we have a lot planned over the next couple of years that I'm really excited about. You've already mentioned our 40th anniversary, and I cannot believe that that is going to be here. So we've got some special things planned that's going to help us celebrate that, but just the tip of the iceberg, we're adding some more parking to our parking lot because there's so many people that want to come see us all the time. And that's gonna that's gonna be great and a brand new fancy restaurant that's coming. Yeah. Because I know how much you love to I eat. I love to eat and I love all the food we have on the park. So that'd be great to have some more of it. Yeah, but we've been hard at work in the planning stages for a new game-changing attraction for 2026. And I know all of you are gonna love what it's gonna be. Yeah, I know they are too. And we can't forget, you mentioned Heart Song. Uh -huh. and dream more but there's a lot more to come so we're working hard on our properties uh, advancement and hospitality well we promised that we were going to have five by the time that we're done i thought i told you you were supposed to say that you promised there would be well we promised i right. promised and you promised what else did you promise me well <laughs> we're we're working hard on all of these items but also all the dreams that you want to see come true at Dollywood Parks and Resorts. Well, I cannot tell you how proud I am of all the things that, that all of you have done. I've just been so blessed through the years to work, as I mentioned, with the Hersham family and all the great people here at the park. And you've been a blessing to us all. So thank you for that. Next, we were able to get a preview of the new From the Heart Broadway style show you can catch at the I Will Always Love You Music Festival right now. After the media event, Dollywood graciously hosted us to try out a number of different things at the Front Porch Cafe. This is probably one of the best places in the park if you're looking for vegetarian or gluten-free options. We tried out their fried green tomatoes and mozzarella, as well as their shrimp and dooley and cheesy grits, and their country fried chicken breast. 
But our favorite we were able to try was their Southern Fish and Grits which is a lightly breaded rainbow trout and tasted fantastic. We were also able to try out their mason jar banana pudding as well as their mason jar goo goo cluster cheesecake, which were both fun to try. Aside from eating at a sit down restaurant, you can also pick up a tasting pass. They come out to $44.29 after tax or $40.97 after tax if you are a season pass holder. This gives you five festival food items that you can get all in one day or over many days until the festival ends April 14th. We're gonna go over the festival pass and options in more detail on our next Dollywood video. After lunch, we decided to go for a walk under all of these pink plastic medallions or Celebration Sky as it was called last year to start to explore what else we could find before Dolly's parade begins. Now that we grabbed some lunch at the Front Porch Cafe, I wanted to walk down here and check out a few more things with you. Starting out with the Pines Theater is the new home of Kingdom Airs. They'll continue to perform here during the festival, which ends April 14th, and then they'll be moving back to their original location Let's go over here and check out the progress on the Dolly Parton experience that's gonna be opening up this May. So even here on Pass Holder Preview Day, there are guys out there working on the outside. I'm sure lots of work going on the inside to get this finished. Let's walk around the corner to Lightning Rod and check out the new launch as they've improved it that will hopefully be much more reliable. It's very odd to hear Lightning Rod being pulled up on a chain versus being launched. Let's go take a closer look. Lightning Rod is officially back up and running. It only has a 10 minute wait time right now. You can see people going up the chain on a Lightning Rod right now. And in fact, Hannah wrote it a little bit earlier. So let me show you Hannah getting on Lightning Rod. Though I did not get on Lightning Rod, I was told that it's still the same ride experience after that first initial drop and still can reach a maximum speed of 73 miles per hour. We had one roller coaster enthusiast tell us they felt like it was slightly slower, but it could just be from the lack of the launch. If you have been on it since the update, let us know what you think of it in the comments. Our Hannah definitely had a great time riding Lightning Rod. And just beyond the lightning rod, you have the Smoky Mountain Rampage, which is up and running now. And it's a little bit chilly, but if you want to, you can now do that to your heart's content throughout the spring and summertime here at Dollywood. We didn't make it deep into the country fair area, but wanted to let you know that the Dizzy Disc Ride has been replaced with additional seating. Our guess is that this ride just became too much of a maintenance issue, but now you've got lots of seating over here. We have been working through a bunch of people excited to see Dolly very soon. I wanted to point out the Back Porch Theater here is where you can do sing along with Dolly. So you'll see words up on the screen and you can come in here and sit as a family and sing along with a bunch of Dolly Parton songs but before Dolly gets here, let's see if we can go for a little walk around the park. And from Parton's Back Porch Theater over here by the water clock, you would find this little picture area. This is very similar to the one they had last year at the I Will Always Love You celebration. A little bit different, but a great little spot to come take a photo. You got Miss Lillian's Barbecue is getting some renovations right now. So we'll try to keep an eye on the progress of Miss Lillian's Barbecue here and we'll let you know when we find out that that will be up and running once again. And now that Dollywood is back up and running, so too is the Grist Mill. It's gonna be serving lots of cinnamon bread this season. And if you have a diamond pass and you were able to get the deal where you get one loaf of cinnamon bread every month, you'll be able to enjoy it year round. We actually have five diamond passes in our house and each one of them gets one cinnamon bread a month. So we might need some help eating some cinnamon bread. You've got Fiddling with Leona and JP here at the Valley Theater. We 
actually just noticed that the way you order cinnamon bread here at Dollywood is a little bit different. You're actually gonna come over here to place your order for cinnamon bread and then walk in to pick it up. So there's a pretty good line of people waiting to see Dolly right now and a pretty good line of people to get some cinnamon bread. You can see the back of the line to cinnamon bread right over here to the right. Beyond the cinnamon bread line in the Valley Theater right here next to Granny Ogle's Ham and Beans, you have a Valley Hat Shop. This was a Squishmallow store that you could come in here with the kids and check out all the different Squishmallows, but now they have all sorts of Western wear and a wall of cowboy or cowgirl hats over here. But if you are still looking to check out some Squishmallows and stuffed animals, you can come over here to the Bear Market. Let's go inside and check that out. But first, let's stop by and say hey to Applejack. Thank you, Applejack. Thank you. So have no fear. If you are looking for Squishmallows, you can still come in here. And they also have a whole giant thing of candy. Much like Build-A-Bear, they have a similar setup in here and you can build a number of different animals. So Miss Lillian's Barbecue has closed down, but they have added this Miss Lillian's Flatbread over here to the right. You can see they have a chicken and a steak flatbread. You can see the pricing and what is on top. So we'll have to come back and try out the two different flatbreads and see which one is better. If you have tried either of the two, let me know what you think down in the comments. Daredevil Falls is also up and running for the season. The parade for Dolly is gonna be starting in about 25 minutes. So we're gonna continue the loop through the park after we head back here to go see Dolly with you guys for just a moment. It's about T minus 10 minutes until Dolly comes down the parade route right up the hill by the train. I've been to a couple of these and I'm telling you, I think this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen waiting for Dolly. Is it just gonna be her to go have some Looney Tunes or something? She's like, no, I didn't. You're not having it, ma'am. Are you ready to see Dolly? There are some clips of Dolly. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will say we've seen Dolly a number of times in that parade and I've never seen that many people at the parade. That's probably the busiest parade that I've ever seen. We're actually trying to meet up and find our girls. So let me keep walking around the park with you and see if we can notice anything else while we're here. I just noticed they moved the drinks here at the Hickory House barbecue around to this side, which actually should be a lot more easier 
to get to away from people in line at the Hickory House barbecue. As we arrive to Blazing Fury, let's go check out some of the wait times. Lots of zeros on the board, 20 minutes for Fire Chaser Express and five for Wild Eagle right now. So what's your name? Hannah Jenkins. And where are you from, Hannah? Augusta, Georgia. And how did you like riding Blazing Fury? I love it because it's so fun and it's not like too crazy. So any age basically can ride it. Is that your favorite roller coaster? Nope. Wild Eagle is. Wild Eagle? I think Mr. Ryan should go on the Wild Eagle it's with fun. you someday. It goes uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it goes upside down. <laughs> yeah, definitely no. So you should try also try Thunderhead. It goes up and on four times. Oh. That's extra fun. Uh, that wouldn't call that extra fun. <laughs> Well, it's great to meet you. Yes, yeah, so Thank good you. to meet you, Hannah. You. Nice try, Hannah, trying to talk me into get on Wild Eagle. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So we're gonna keep walking around and see what else we can find. Come to the Tennessee Tornado. Looks like Bustin' yeah. Barbecue Tacos across the pond in Sugar Queen, which have been here at Dollywood. So if we wanted to hop on Wild Eagle, we could right now with zero wait time. But we're going to keep walking around the park heading towards Big Bear. And I already noticed something else that changed this off season. They've added a number of benches over here to the left in this area across from Fire Chaser Express. And as we come to the dog house, you can see this entire area has been fenced off. So we'll keep an eye on construction here. You can see the other side of the fence that goes all the way around. So. There currently is no lodge over here to hang out at at the moment. Let's work our way to the back of Wildwood Grove and check out the ride wait time for Big Bear Mountain. It is currently 6.30. We've made it back here to Big Bear Mountain. That has a 25 minute ride wait time. So if you're here on pass holder preview day, pretty low wait times to get on rides. You can Come back here, get on Big Bear in 25 minutes. Bree is trying to talk me into hopping on with her, but I think I might try on a different day, so. Do it, do it. As we work our way through Timber Canyon, I don't notice too much different in this part of the park. It's about 6.45 and the crowd levels are not too bad. Park closes at eight. We are starting to get hungry, so we might go try to see if we can find a couple festival items to try out. As we work our way back to the front, they have signs for the Flower and Food Festival, which kicks off April 19th. This festival we're currently in right now will end April 14th. So as the sun is going down, people are starting to leave the park, but there's still about an hour of park time. So we might go over here and grab some food. I really wanna try out this peanut butter and chocolate concoction they have up here. It looked good when I saw it. We're gonna try out some things here at the Market Square real quick before we leave. We were gonna give these fried potato chips a try, but they are out for tonight. So maybe the next time we come back, we'll give these a shot. They're also out of peanut butter, hot chocolate, unfortunately for the night as it's at the end of the day. So we're gonna try that next time. We're gonna try out this smoky corn chowder. So here is a closer look at the corn chowder. Let's give it a try, Brie. Okay, it's good. It's seasoned well. It's creamy. Um, I like the bacon and cheese on top. I do wish they gave me a little more cheese, but I'm kind of like, you can't have too much cheese kind of a person. Well, so. your name is Brie. They <laughs> named me correctly. Yeah. <laughs> So. And you married somebody that has lots of cheesy dad jokes, so. That's true. <laughs> so out of 10, what would you give oh, that's it? That's right, I'm gonna give it an eight. If they put more cheese on it, it would definitely be a nine. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna have to give this a try. I really enjoyed the corn chowder. We'll have to come back and do a more in-depth dive on all of the festival food. But actually we sat by somebody who said, they tried a bunch of things and the corn chowder was their favorite. Let's check out some of the festival merchandise before we leave. You can see this I Will Always Love You t-shirt and sweatshirt. And they also have these I Will Always Love You music festival t-shirts for $20. They also have this design in a hoodie for $45. So the crowds are thinning out. It is 7.30 on Passholder Preview Day. Line is not too bad at the bakery. Let's go over here to the Emporium and see if we notice any other merchandise. Here inside the Emporium, they have this 
I Will Always Love You t-shirt, along with this exclusive Dolly t-shirt for 25. And they also have this hoodie that says I Will Always Love You on the front for $45. Here's a look at the back, and they also have it in a light purple as well. And here's a look at a couple more t-shirts they have over here that I haven't seen before. All of these coming in at $25, along with this sweatshirt for $40. But that wraps up checking out some of the highlights of our day at this year's Pass Holder Preview Day. If you've enjoyed the video, do us a big favor and make sure to like the video and let us know in the comments your thoughts about the new shows, food, or changes in the park. We'll do our best to do a more detailed dive of all the festival food as soon as we can. Thanks again to Dollywood for the invite and thanks to everyone who's watched this far in the video. Know your support means a lot to us and we will always love you.